One day you young people are going to learn that it is actually cool to not share every single detail of your life. What up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about some of the pitfalls that you young people out there are probably going to go through because you all cannot just stop sharing every single aspect about your life to the point where it is costing you your jobs. But before we get into all that, make sure you hit the like button, share button, subscribe to this channel, and also go sign up for a Tech G membership so that you can learn all this wonderful information that I have stored up in my brain. To to teach you guys about IT and cybersecurity. Now, with that being said, let's check out this video. So TikTok got me fired. A couple weeks ago, I started sharing about how I got a job in the tech industry. Um, well, I don't work at that job anymore because they fired me. I had to sign a bunch of stuff, so I'm like really nervous about going too far into detail here, but basically, my employer found my TikToks and really, really did not like that I was sharing my salary and stuff like that. Even though I'm very aware that like talking about salary is federally protected, you can't get fired for that. I did take all of those videos down just because, you know, they were my employer and I didn't want them to be mad at me or not like me or something. But then like two days later, after they talked to me about my TikTok account, they ended up firing me because they said me having this account was a security concern because I could post something private about the company on my TikTok account. And I did specifically ask, like, have I broken any policies? Have I posted anything on TikTok that is a security concern? And they said, not at this time, I have not, but it could happen at any time in the future. So they're just not going to take that risk with me. The day that that happened, I literally had a panic attack on the drive home. I was crying for like days straight. I'm a little bit better now, but I'm like literally shaking. I'm My anxiety is still very high about this whole situation. But I do have to say I'm very, very lucky. My last employer slash now current employer is really amazing. They know about my TikTok and they have no issues with it. And so I called my manager like an hour after I got fired, like sobbing, and he actually was able to get me my job back. So that's like super, super lucky. But yeah, I haven't really been posting on TikTok a lot just because I've honestly been in shock. Um, <laughs> I've had really bad anxiety ever since this happened and I've kind of just been trying to like process my emotions with all of this. So yeah, I'm going back to work for the agency that I worked for before taking this new job. Um, so no more tech vlogs, I'm very sorry. <laughs> but I don't start back up at my old job until July 18th. So I have like three or four weeks to be fun employed. So let me know what videos you want me to post because I have all the time in the world right now. You youngins, you all are gonna learn one day that you just don't have to tell everybody what's going on in your life just to get some likes, some some retweets, get your followers up. Like there are just certain things you can keep to yourself, especially if it's your employment. That's what I think you should at least keep to yourself. But anyways, let's check this out. It says TikTok got me fired. Her job in the tech industry was short lived after the company found her videos discussing her salary. She's out there online talking about how much money she makes. She out there stunting on the TikTok, y'all. Stunting so hard on TikTok, she got fired. So the woman in Denver took the TikTok to share her $20,000 pay increase at a new job working for a tech company. But she says she was ultimately fired after the company found her videos. In June, Lexi Larson shared a TikTok video saying her salary had risen from $70,000 at a marketing agency to $90,000 after landing a job in the tech industry. Her content on the platform leading up to and following the video covered her spending habits in Denver and how she got the new job. So she done went from $70,000 to $90,000 and she could not wait to run the TikTok to tell everybody she's making $20,000 more than what she was currently making. Once again, why is that anybody's business how much money you make? Why? Other than you wanting to go out onto the Instagrams and the TikToks to flex on people, why do you feel the need to share this information with other people that have no need to know? The only people that should know that you got a $20,000 pay increase is you and your significant other. That's pretty much it. it. says, but Larson says that after her company found her TikTok account, she began deleting videos to try to avoid angering her bosses. Uh-oh. She was aware of her right to discuss her salary was federally protected by the National Labor Relations Act, but still decided to take them down, USA Today reports. Eventually, her supervisor discussed the TikTok account with her. 
says the company really, really did not like her video sharing her salary. She stated when she asked the company whether she posted any videos that violated security measures, she said supervisors told her no, but weren't willing to take that risk. Says TikTok cost me my job. She said in the same video announcing her termination, which she said came about two weeks after she was hired. Two days later, after they talked to me about my TikTok account, they did end up firing me because they said me having this account was a security concern. And I bet you the uh, reason for the security concern is they was probably going through watching her videos and she was just telling a little bit too much about the company that she was working for, where she was possibly on the verge of disclosing trade secrets and breaking NDAs and all this other stuff. Not saying that's what she did, but whoever saw those videos was probably thinking, oh, she's about to head down this path of just putting all of our company business out there on Jump Street. That's why I think they canned her. Says USA Today spoke with Benita Joseph, a partner at the law firm Joseph and Norensburg LLC, about employers monitoring social media. Says the company has a huge interest to make sure you are not engaging in discriminatory statements, disclosing trade secrets, threats of violence, and unlawful conduct. If they do find out you were doing any of these, it could be grounds for termination. Larson concluded her termination announcement video by letting her now 33,000 followers know she got gone back to her old job as an account manager after calling her former manager in tears over the firing. That video has amassed over 1 million views. So she got her old job back. She is not in tech anymore. She went back to the old job of being an account manager, y'all. And I wonder exactly what caused her to get fired with those tech related videos. I wonder. All right, guys. So there you have it, man. Listen, this has to be a young person thing, or maybe there's like a generational divide between people of my age and you youngins where we just don't understand this obsessive need to put any and everything about your personal and professional life online for the world to see and consume. Like take me for instance, right? You go to any of my social medias. I do not list the company that I work for. I don't even list the company that I work for on LinkedIn. Nobody knows who the heck I work for unless you actually know me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like there is this need for me to let you know I work for this company or I do this or I do that. Like, that is really none of your business. You understand? But these young people, they have this burning desire to let everybody know what they do from the time they wake up to who they work for and to what they're doing at the job. Because this young lady right here, she says she was an account manager. She got hired into a tech role. And then two weeks later, they fired her based off of things she was saying on her videos because they felt she was a potential security concern. And then she got rehired back into her old position as an account manager. And then you heard in the video, she said she's not going to be making any more tech related videos or whatever the case may be. That leads me to believe when she was in that tech position, she was creating videos talking about what the heck that company may have been doing in their business practices. Listen, I work in tech and I make tech videos, but I don't talk about anything that's related to my employer. I just talk about cybersecurity and tech news and just general tech information that is not specific to the practices of an employer. And this is regardless of if I had to sign an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement or whatever the case may be. It just seems like common sense. But then again, this is something that I learned years ago. When I used to work for the NSA, when I was in the army, I worked with the NSA and they had me sign some documents saying, I cannot talk about what I do at the job. Even to this day, I still legally, I want to say legally, I still cannot talk about what I used to do at the NSA. But I used to work there 12 hour shifts, go into a building with no windows when it's dark outside and leave when it's dark outside. And my wife had no clue what the heck I was doing up in there. I couldn't even come home and tell my wife what I did for a living when I was working with the NSA, right? But I guess maybe I was conditioned into this mindset that everything doesn't have to go on social media. I'll give you another example. If me and my wife are sitting here arguing and bickering with one another, I'm not finna go on social media and start putting my wife on blast about an argument that we had. And I'm saying this because I see people who do this all the time. Mostly young people, they will get on social media and put their baby mama, baby daddy, husband, wife, significant other on blast for the entire world to see and read. And it's just like, what are you doing? The only thing you're going to 
to see about me and my wife are happy pictures. Me, the wife, and the kids. That's it. Any drama behind the scenes is nobody's business but me and my wife if we got some issues going on. But the whole point is, young people, they don't seem to have this little mechanism in their head that tells them, hey, you're sharing too much. You're doing too much. You're saying too much. They just feel like if they're not telling the world every single minute detail about their life. I guess they're not keeping it real with the people. So she's online talking about she got a $20,000 pay bump. She could have just went online and said, hey, I got a new job and a promotion. And then if anybody wanted to know, she could have DM'd them or whatever. But she's online just telling everybody, I got a $20,000 promotion. Then they discover some videos on her account. And like I say, I can almost 100% guarantee she was in those videos talking about stuff that was directly related to the practices of that particular company and that position she was working with it because if she was working in a tech position she just talked about some basic general tech stuff like hey i work in help desk and this is what we do at the help desk or this is what we do in cybersecurity. she just gave some basic general cybersecurity information that was not related to the company she worked for she wouldn't have any issues in my personal opinion i haven't investigated this woman beyond this video i sincerely think she was in there disclosing some stuff about that company she had no business talking about that's what i think got her fired and that's why she made this video talking about she's not going to be making any more tech related blog postings or whatever the case may be. You young people are going to learn that, hey, you don't have to tell everybody everything. But then again, I don't know if you all are going to learn because social media is like digital crack to a lot of you all. You all need this. You all wake up, eat, sleep, and breathe social media. You feel like you can't function as a normal human being unless you're telling everybody everything that's going on in your personal and professional life. Me right now, if my social medias went away, I would be all right. I'd be okay because I lived the life before social media where we actually went outside, interacted with human beings and, and all that other stuff. You youngins that come up where you got a phone glued to your face, a social media app in your face all the time, I don't know what y'all would do with y'all. Some of y'all might be at risk of harming yourself or other people if you couldn't get online and tell everybody every single thing about your life. Anyways, with that being said, if you're a young person out there, use this story as an example of caution. Like you just don't have to tell everybody everything that's going on in your life. And definitely do not, do not get on social media talking about your company and what they do. I personally advise you to not even disclose the company that you work for. And then if you want to create a social media account and you talking reckless and greasy out there about whatever, whatever, I advise you to create an alternate personality or a pseudonym or whatever the heck the doggone name is where you can rant and rave and it's not under your real name. You got like a alternate identity or something like that. That's what I advise y'all to do because these companies are going to look into your social medias. And if they do find you talking reckless and greasy and saying stuff that is uh, not politically friendly, at least as far as the company views things, meaning you might be leaning one way politically or believe in a certain ideology, but the overall culture of your company is the complete opposite. You know, they might look at your stuff and be like, hmm, I don't think you're a good fit for this company. They might be on some crap like that. So if you want to express your feels that goes against the culture of your company, you might want to do it under a different identity with an avatar. Also, like I said, do not get on these videos talking about what your company does or at least not going into the nitty gritty details of what they do. Regardless, I know y'all ain't going to listen to me. Y'all can go out there and do what you want to do. I just hope that you move forward with caution and just use some common sense, especially as it relates to your employer, especially if you don't have another source of income lined up that can, you know, like a secondary job or a side business or a fat stash of money or just a rich relative somewhere. If your employer, that paycheck you get is your primary source of income. And if you lose that source of income to where you might have to be out there on the streets, twerking at the stoplights, asking people for a dollar, I highly advise you to think twice about the things you say on your social medias, especially as it relates directly to who your company is that you work for and what they do. That's what I highly advise you guys seriously consider and think about. But what do I know? I'm just a dude making YouTube videos, baby. Anyways, that's my two cents on this story. Hopefully this woman gets everything back in order and she moves forward and she learns from this lesson, which she seems like a bright, intelligent woman. So she may have just had a bad lapse in judgment because she was super excited about the $20,000 pay increase, right? And she just like lost her freaking mind temporarily. Hopefully she gets back into a, a mentality of sanity 
where she thinks about these things moving forward. And she seems like she might. So we'll see how that goes. But while you're thinking about these things, go ahead and hit that like button, share button, and subscribe button and drop a comment. And also, if you haven't signed up for a Tech G membership, I highly encourage you to sign up for a Tech G membership so you can learn all this wonderful stuff about IT and cybersecurity. And with that, I will highlight you all on the next video. So peace.